from when I started here in Portland. Um, it just let me know when you actually got here, which shows almost about an hour ago. Um, yeah, so that's, that's where we're at. If you're okay with that, that's what I did. Yeah, absolutely. I'm sorry for the misunderstanding with all of this, but I'm going to give this journey some good feedback. <laughs> Welcome back to today's video. So today is Monday. I believe it is Monday the, ooh, hold up. Today's like Monday the 23rd. I don't know, I'll put it on the bottom. Anyway, all I've been doing today is basically cleaning my house. It's almost gonna be 2 p.m. My kids are gonna start getting home from school and I haven't even finished. So I'm gonna turn this way so you guys can see. I have a mess over here, right? But we, are going to um, just pick up the mess basically you know so I'm gonna go right here oh my son's home let me let, let's go answer that guy so I'm watching this show unexpected you guys I cannot stand this woman and her like husband the way that they treat the father of their daughter boyfriend I mean the baby's father is just so disgusting like they act like they are so high and mighty, so perfect, but ugh, I literally cannot stand this girl. Like, she is so ridiculous. Wow, she's so, she should be ashamed of herself. She should truly be ashamed. Anyway, guys, I'm taking a quick break. I've been cleaning all day. I'm literally taking a break to watch this. I'll be back. Hey guys. So I just wanted to come on here and just kind of like talk to you guys about what's been going on. Basically, I've been having a string of, well, I certainly don't want to call it like bad luck because I feel like I'm giving life to it. But I do want to tell you guys, it's basically been like one thing after another. And I'm not telling you guys this for any type of woe is me, feel sorry for me and my family. If anything, I would love you guys to remember me in your thoughts and prayers, but I would also love you guys to know that if you're going through something similar or you've gone through something similar, that um, you're not the only one, that I'm also here for you and maybe we can chat it out, you know? But um, basically, the things that have kind of been happening that have been like really um, awful is the most important one and that's the one about my son so this has been going on a week already we've taken him to the doctor i've spoken to you guys about this and we basically left the er with more questions and answers he was having very dire stomach pain it happens every single morning and by midday to nighttime he feels normal he thinks he's going to be okay then he wakes up in the morning with the exact same pain it happens every single day um Yes, today was actually the first day that he didn't really wake up with that pain. Um, I think some mornings it might not be as severe as others because he just, um, I think he's so traumatized by it. He has like PTSD, so he's like waiting for it to happen, which I completely understand because I would be the same way. Um, but anyway, that's what's going on with that. I am truly hoping that it's over with and he's not gonna have to deal with this type of pain any longer like it's done hopefully um, we still are keeping a doctor's appointment with a um, GI doctor on October 2nd he's still gonna go to that so that's good news and what else what else um, our refrigerator gave out I told you guys this Nathan was able to fix it I don't know how much longer it's going to last though oh sorry guys sorry sorry but it did go out um, and when it rains, it pours. As you guys saw in the clip before this, I showed you guys that we were at the Genius Bar at Apple. And our computer is done for. We no longer have a computer. Um, it went out completely. Something about the LCD screen. It's going to be about $700 to fix. The guy at Apple told us that it probably wouldn't even be worth it to fix it because the computer's from 2011. It's probably just not even worth it to repair. You might as well get a new computer. Um, I obviously do not have the funds right now to spend two grand on a new computer. So um, it just really stinks because the kids are going to be needing a computer for school and stuff like that to do reports or whatever. 
so um it's just a bummer you guys like literally when it rains it pours so i've been feeling extremely low like i don't know another way to explain it i'm just not feeling happy and i don't know how to get out of this funk um, I'm certainly grateful for everything that we do have. We obviously have food, a house over our heads. Everyone is um, semi-healthy. <laughs> but um, I don't know, you guys. I've just been feeling kind of like a bummer lately. And I apologize if it's been showing through. I'm just trying to have a better outlook on things. But it's just hard. Do you know what it does? that make sense? Like, I don't want to be a crybaby, complaining, complaining. But that's basically what it's sounding like that I'm doing is being a crybaby, complaining, complaining. Um, I don't know. I'm just, ugh, I don't know, you guys. I wanted to film for you all day. I wanted to do a clean with me. That obviously did not happen. Let's see. So, right now, I am, sorry, guys. Anyway, right now I am just finishing picking up Xavier's room. That way he has a nice bed to come in when he gets home from work. Thank you guys so much for watching and listening. I love you all way too much and I will see you in the next clip. Thanks guys.